Hey, it's Deborah Atkinson with Flipping 50 and someone asked this the other day, deadlifts. I do single leg deadlifts all the time. I think I have my back in great position, but it still bothers my lower back. What do I do? So here's my response to this. So first one, good on you for doing it. And here's the most common error. So what I want you to do is to try it first without anything. So this is what I'm gonna hold when I do a single leg deadlift. But while I'm just attempting to do it and getting into good form so that I can keep any tweaking out of my lower back that might happen with a weight, I'm gonna do it without. I'm gonna actually just go to that handle. So what I want you to do is to think about the placement. You want your weight on your heel always. So it doesn't matter if I'm in the upright position, and this should be all the way up straight here because that's the goal, or whether I'm here and I'm actually reaching down, my weight should be on my heel. My toes, I'm using them for balance, but they should be much lighter than the weight on my heel. So if the weight's on my heel, the weight is here. If the weight goes forward to the ball of my foot, it's in my knee. And therefore the exercise is no longer doing good, it's putting me at risk, okay? So here's what you need to remember. All of us who grew up thinking more is better need to feel and understand that the last 20 to 30 degrees range of motion from this joint right here, just this one, being flexed and being fully extended, that's the work. The work is not coming from being bent wide open and coming all the way up from that position because the closer we go to the floor, the more we lose this and we start getting up here. So. My guess, without seeing it, is that you're trying to do a more type of an exercise. You're trying to come all the way down and maybe touch the floor. So it may help you to actually use a bench or an ottoman and put the weight or touch the weight to that. So you can feel like you get that sense of completion that you might get if you go to the floor, but you really shouldn't be going to the floor anyway. So I want you to watch me doing it. And I'm just gonna choose my, my best balanced leg because it'll be a better demonstration. But I want to show you that I'm never gonna go get that on the floor in this position. So I'm gonna go here so I get it with good control and my, don't put my back at risk. And then when I do the exercise, I start here. I'm gonna put my hand in the back of my bum and then I'm only gonna go to where I'm still feeling it here and feel nothing in my back. It's not about going to the point where I feel it in my lower back. I actually don't wanna feel it at all. I just wanna feel like my bum is opening up and then it's squeezing here. And by that I mean you're doing an eccentric contraction, right? And then you're pushing and squeezing in a concentric contraction. So as you come down and up, the work is very small, the range of motion, very small, but very effective. I'm gonna try it on my other side, not my great balance side, but similarly, I wanna do this in the same way. Hand comes back onto my bum, I'm gonna hold, my weight stays in my heel, and then I'm gonna push that to a standing position. You want that hip flexor straight, and you wanna come down, and then squeeze to push up. Good, now if you feel your toes are gripping, you've probably gone a little bit too far. Good, so it's here, weight on my heels. Weight on my heel, pushing that into the ground so I'm squeezing, okay? Here's the other air, and if I do it with this weight, I'm really potentially gonna hurt myself, so I'm not gonna do it with a weight, but the other air is, if you can watch my shoulders on this one, okay? When you come down, we tend to let that go, okay? Instead of actually maintaining the posture, you're just holding on here. And all that should be happening is you're hinging here and then coming up. But instead, what we tend to do is kind of get that feeling like, oh, it can come closer to the floor, closer to the floor if I reach. And we think that's better. So again, watch those points. One of the best next additions to your home gym is a mirror. 
and although it's hard to watch yourself because you're moving and that may make you fall over you want to keep your eye on a focal point like your weight or the edge of your mat or a chair that's not moving but it's good to get a little feedback another thing you can do is set your phone up videotape yourself and then play your videotape while you watch what i just showed you and that'll help you clean up the the exercise so that you get the benefit to your bum which means you're going to have a lower back that's less at risk because the stronger you are here, the less you beg, borrow, and steal strength here. And while you're doing the exercise, you won't put your lower back at risk. I hope that was helpful. If you have a question about a different exercise, this one seems to bother you. You're not quite sure if you have it. First of all, subscribe so you see it when I release a new video. And second, put your question or comment down below or better yet, join the Flipping 50 Insiders Group. It's a Facebook group, private group for YouTube channel subscribers, for our Flipping 50 podcast listeners and Flipping 50 TV viewers, so that if you've got a question or you wanna take the conversation a little bit further, that's the place to do it. And I pop in there every week answering questions or taking your questions to create the next podcast or the next video. I'll see you on the flip side.